What's going on guys, Connor owns fast food here, back with a brand new video. So this is obviously not a fast food video. This is going to be kind of like a trip to the thrift, but also starting a business and an eBay store from scratch type of challenge. It's not really from scratch because I'm using an old eBay store. If you guys are interested in selling on eBay, I would definitely recommend you guys watch this whole entire video. I'm gonna teach you guys a lot of tips and tricks. And if you guys already sell on eBay, I'm sure you guys will learn something because honestly, I'll watch a video, like I'll even watch a Paul Cantu video be like yo I didn't know those things sold I also watched that Dallas thrifter a lot he's really dope he has a lot of really good content so if I see something that he picks up I'll go on completed listings on eBay because honestly this is another topic that we will talk about someone at the flea market will be like yeah I saw that thing going for 120 bucks on eBay but you have to go to completed listings to see the actual value I could post this t-shirt on eBay for 100 bucks and then someone at the flea market will see it and they'll be like whoa that t-shirt's worth a hundred dollars but no this t-shirt is probably worth 15 to 20 bucks it's not a crazy expensive t-shirt south park t-shirts just aren't that hyped up this is from 1997 i picked it up at the flea market for 50 cents me personally i really love south park so that's why i kept it i could post it up on my ebay store for 15 to 20 bucks and make some money but i chose to wear it because i am a fan shout out to paul Cantu, shout out to that dallas thrifter and any other thrifter that is on youtube you guys are sharing the love for vintage you guys are sharing the love for everything that has to do with resale i'm gonna say this one time and one time only I am not here to sell you guys a product I'm not sharing my stupid ass ebook on Amazon I'm not asking you guys to sign up for a stupid ass program I want to teach you guys step by step on how to start up an eBay store my main eBay store I sell clothes shoes video games toys electronics so much stuff but something that always gets left behind are t-shirts here's a big stack of t-shirts for example that hasn't been put on eBay just because they're a little bit mediocre they go anywhere in the range from five to a $20 t-shirt and a lot of them do get looked over in my mind when I was looking at this pile of t-shirts I was like oh I could do that later those are not important but one thing that I've understand from this video and doing this experiment that every item that you pick up is important on average I paid a dollar to two dollars for each of these shirts so the reasons why those shirts get left in a pile is because I pick up shirts like this that I pay more attention to like I picked up this 1994 grateful cup I do need to clean it and I that's why I'm spending a little bit more time on it because I need to get the stains at the bottom. This is a really sick piece that I picked up from my friend Steven. He sent me a big box of stuff. He also sent me another Grateful Dead t-shirt and this one's a tank top and this one has the skeleton surfing on the bear which is also a noodle. So I thought that was really sick. This was another piece that I was paying more attention to and just leaving this big stack unattended to and that is not okay. I need to start paying more attention to the, both these items and all these items because they all sell on eBay. So let me stop talking. Let me share some clips with you guys of us going to Goodwill and finding some merchandise for our Back It Up Vintage eBay store. So I made it to my first stop, Goodwill Superstore. This store used to be my number one t-shirt income store. Then they started changing all the prices of them. This new cart just came out. Some Ultra Boost four or whatever these are called nmds my bad ten dollars i can't believe it just is ultra boost but under here i don't know which one's a better pickup because these ones are literally mint condition like a couple small scuffs probably from just being in the bin but ten dollars and we have this dead stock dragon ball z shirt we have this vintage nike gators jersey and then this one has a marked five on it so that means it's gonna be five dollars this one's from 2003 but they're both brand new at tags two shirts for six dollars so three dollars each for brand new dead stock dragon ball z shirts but i'm definitely picking up these five items pretty dope pickup right there twenty dollars for probably a hundred dollars in shoes monster jam us tour 2008 99 cents this is really sick adidas sweatshirt which honestly i might pick it up for myself this thing is so dope so i'm picking up one last dollar t-shirt we have this vintage adidas athletics t-shirt it does have a little bit of cracking but it's vintage 90s so you guys could see why my job is really fun we just went to goodwill we picked up a bunch of stuff i picked up a personal sweater that i might sell because i saw them going for about 40 bucks picked it up for seven dollars we spent 42 dollars sure we didn't get a lot of dollar t-shirts but we got a 
lot of really good merchandise for both of my stores. I'll be able to post some t-shirts on the t-shirt store and then some other merch on my regular store. So we spent $42 and honestly, just a quick estimate, we got at least $300 to $350 worth of inventory. There's two more things that I wanted to talk to you guys about that's really important when you guys are traveling is transportation and preparation. You guys always want to be prepared when you guys are going on a trip out thrifting if you're going to the flea market. I always pack my Jamsport backpack with a duffel bag so I could carry a bunch of stuff if I buy too much stuff. I also pack medicine and I pack snacks because I'm always hungry and I have to eat little things here and there to give myself some energy and transportation is definitely a big part and it might be a challenge for some of you guys. It's not a challenge for me because I ride a bike. Almost every person that does what I do drives a car and for some reason they just don't do as well as me and I ride a bike everywhere. I ride a basic bike. This one's actually a new bike that I'm showing you. I picked it up recently for 50 bucks at the flea market. I had to do a little bit of tweaking and stuff to it. It gets me from point A to point B with no problems. I have all this knowledge that I've learned from experience, buying and selling, go to garage sales, go to flea markets, go to thrift stores, joining Facebook groups, seeing what other people are picking up, looking at Instagram posts, watching YouTube videos, looking at people's eBay stores, going to their completed listings to see what actually sells and what doesn't sell. And then I take all that knowledge in my mind and I go thrifting and I pick up stuff if I see something for a dollar and it goes for 15 bucks I'm gonna pick it up if I see something for ten dollars for fifteen dollars I'm gonna pass on it next stop thrift city this windbreaker is pretty cool but 5.99 I'm not feeling it maybe I'll wait till green tag is half off because today blue tag is half off found these Nike Flyknit transform they're in very good condition actually eight dollars for these probably something for about 35 40 also I picked up a 3ds that looks like it's in terrible condition it's at the front desk for 7.99 but it comes with Mario Kartis Mario Carti Mario Kart 7 <laughs> Mario Carti man that's a freaking meme right there yeah, at least it works Here's a pretty decent deal at Salvation Army. 16 gigabyte iPad for $50. Goes for about 75. So we found these Retro 5s. It's kind of a rare colorway, but also rare, not really too expensive. There is some separation at the toe box. They're $12.99. Probably sell them for like 35, 40 bucks. But unless I could get them for like $8, maybe $10, it's not really worth it. Jumpmans are still visible on the insoles. So I picked up these 11s for $7. Thought they were gonna be $4.99, but I was wrong. Then I picked up a Holland jersey, Netherlands jersey, Nike. That was five bucks. So I spent $12 at Salvation Army. So our next stop is Thrift Sense and everything Friday, Saturday, and Sunday except for yellow tags is 50% off. So make sure you guys come into the store. It's pretty good. It does take a while to get through because it's really big. So sometimes they have some pretty good deals here. We have some Asics. These are $12.50 after the discount. And these are Gel Light 5s. Those are pretty dope for $12.50. Baby Jordans. These are Jordan. And eights. I believe they're the Phoenix Suns. Don't freaking call me out on that. Small scuffs can be cleaned up, but probably a $20 bill. I was hoping I would find a really fake jersey, and here we go. See, look at the quality of this patch right here. That is priceless. But look at the stitching. This is the best part. Look at that stitching. Whoa, zigzag. I mean, it would have been a great deal, $4 for a Nike Lynch jersey. So I have this reprint Miami Vice shirt, but hey, for $1.50, we sell it for $15. And this one's a little bit pricier. This one's $2. Bad things, man. One 101 Dalmatians print. <clears throat> There's this Adrian Peterson jersey, but it has like this marker stain right here. And I don't know if someone would buy it with the marker stain, so I don't think I'm gonna pick it up. It would be $2.50. And a new rack of clothes right there. Absolute steal. Right off the rolling rack. I don't know if you guys can see it from the video. But we have this North Face for $2.50. And it is a high vent Drew Breeze. I actually didn't know that he played for the Chargers. This is a size large. Breeze, $3. This is why I love thrifting. Found a few more t-shirts. This one's going to be $2, which I don't mind paying for Jordan t-shirts. They always sell. We have this Mutter Museum. Didn't see any other ones on eBay. But the books were going for like 30 bucks. So I was like, hey, let's sell for $15. And we have this vintage 90s rainforest cafe with a big tiger on it and i know it's older because it is single stitch on the bottom and on the sleeves this is only going to be a dollar got this pretty dope find we got the polo jeans co ralph lauren with the big flag and i think this is a 
women's. I don't think it's a youth size, so women's size extra large, $2.50. All right, guys, so before I post these items I picked up yesterday on eBay, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown on what we got. These are the two t-shirts that I won't be selling on the Back It Up Vintage page, and the main reason is because I am trading them to a local friend, and he had this really sick Kooji sweater. We're gonna do a trade. These are both dead stock. I have one of these that's really beat up on my Back It Up Vintage store, and it's up for $22.99 and it has 12 watchers. So I figured a brand new one with tags would go for about 40 to 50 bucks. You guys might think that's a little insane, but imagine if you guys are a huge Dragon Ball Z fan and you really wanted this shirt from 2002 and you have it brand new with tags. So we have that t-shirt, that one was a dollar. And for some reason, this one I had to pay $5 for, but I knew my friend would still want it. Both of them are brand new with tags. You guys saw me find those at Goodwill. And we also found the shoes, which was a crazy come up. We have this Nike shirt, which was $2. I expect to get about $8 to $10 for that t-shirt. We have this Miami Vice reprint. This one was $1.50. I expect to probably get about $8 to $10 for that one also. This was a cool museum shirt and I couldn't find any other than they were selling books and the books were going for about $30 to $40. Bucks. So I figured the t-shirt was like a promotional item and I would be able to sell it for about $13. This was $1.50. This I didn't show you guys. It was one of like the last racks at the thrift store where we had everything half off and this was actually $50. Cents. It was on a 50 cents rack and it's a Silent Hill t-shirt, which is a video game I saw them going anywhere from like 12 to 20 bucks So I was like, yo, that's an easy buy when you're paying 50 cents for a t-shirt and you're selling it for even $10 50 cents into the $10. That's a huge profit margin two dollars probably into another 10 to 13 dollars Next we have the vintage 90s Adidas shirt. This one's pretty boring But still if someone really loves Adidas, they got a purple colorway shirt If I have a shirt on eBay for $9.99 and they offer me six dollars, I will take it anything lower than that kind of just isn't worth it I'd rather just have it on eBay as really good eBay inventory filler next for a dollar we picked up this monster jam shirt and like I said we're just buying basic shirts this one will probably only go for about 12 bucks also for another dollar we have this rainforest cafe tiger shirt it is single stitch so I'm pretty sure it is 90s say we sell it to a tiger fan or a rainforest cafe fan that really likes tigers and they want to pay seven dollars for it I'm perfectly fine with that so I'm gonna give you guys a quick little example on how to list something on eBay. This is a Jordan shirt that I picked up a while ago. This is size 3XL, so I'll probably have to charge $4.99 for shipping because it weighs 13.4 ounces. I just weighed it. We have a scale and a pencil, and I use the pencil to like point out if there's a stain, and then I take a picture pretty much like that, and then it'll show like a stain, but there's no stains on this shirt. So I'm gonna lay this out. I hate when people hang up clothes because you can't really see the graphic all the way, so I usually just lay it flat on a nice sheet. Found this one in my closet, and it looks nice. So after taking the main picture which is pretty much just a flat picture like that you're gonna measure from pit to pit and take a picture of that and then measure from top to bottom and take a picture of that then you're gonna take close-up pictures flip it over and do the same on the back side so right now I am just dragging the pictures that we took of the t-shirt onto my desktop. The first thing I do is I type in men's tee, and then we're gonna scroll down to men's clothing t-shirts. I also go to a separate page and look to see if I could find any similar ones. We put does not apply for UPC, brand Nike, and it is size 3XL. Down here, you're gonna wanna create a template, and I already created a template right here called t-shirts, brand Nike, size 3XL, and then this already gives me a quick little description, used in good condition. I don't know, I usually just create some BS at the end, like very cool design, rare graphic, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna put $17.99, but I do have to charge $4.99 shipping because it is a very heavy t-shirt. Men's Nike Air Jordan 1, low, bread, red, black, huge graphic t-shirt, adult size 3XL. So I'm just gonna go through the pictures, make sure they look good. You could adjust the brightness, but sometimes it makes it look terrible. Be careful if you adjust the brightness. I think the pictures look decent. It could have been a little bit brighter because it does look pretty dull. So I have it set up $17.99 or best offer. And then if they decide to pay right away, like buy it now, then it will require them to pay for it right away. So I think this t-shirt's all done and ready to go. So we're gonna list the item and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed 
enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to list something on eBay. So I'm gonna show you guys the process and shipping this item, the men's Nike Miami t-shirt. These are items for the eBay store that haven't been put on eBay yet. On top are mostly newer t-shirts and then at the bottom there's some vintage stuff. These are all the items that are from the year 2000 and newer. These are all the vintage items that I have on eBay and these are anywhere from 1999 and older. I found the Miami t-shirt. It wasn't too far down. I only had to go through a couple shirts and most of the t-shirts that are on this eBay store aren't really expensive. There's just see vans off the wall. I think I have that for like 10 bucks. We have Bob Marley right here. This Easy E shirt is pretty dope. Kiss My Airs Nike shirt. I think that was pretty cool. So I picked that up for I think $1.50. Foo Fighters and Nirvana. So I'm picking these t-shirts up for a dollar to two dollars, listing them for 10 to 15 dollars. And we're just looking to make one to two sales a day. I'll be happy with one sale a day because that's just a little bit extra income. For this next process, you don't have to have anything super fancy. I don't have anything super fancy. I just have some poly envelope bags. I have some eBay tape. I have some regular tape. I have a scale. I have the Dymo printer, which is the printer that we will be using. But if this isn't working or if there's any problems, I can go to my backup printer, which I have another printer over here, which is a regular printer. This printer prints little labels that you pretty much it prints out and then you just peel it off and then you stick it onto the package. Next step, you're going to put the t-shirt into the poly envelope. Then we're going to put it on the scale and then we're going to weigh it. Most likely this one's going to weigh about, I'd say seven ounces and it'll probably ship for about $3 and five cents. Okay. I have the package all ready to go. We're going to place it on the scale right here. It weighs 5.7 ounces. I have the page all up and ready right here. I covered up the addresses, mainly just covering up his address. My address is actually a private address. So if you guys are interested in anything you guys see, I won't be like, oh, don't buy something because then you'll know where I live because it's a private address. So we're going to put in six ounces. I put $3.99 shipping mainly because I don't know if this is going to cost $3.50. I don't know if this is going to cost $3 to ship. There is a fee on shipping too. So don't think I'm just pocketing the extra dollar. I do make a little bit of money on the shipping, but that mainly goes towards tape, labels, and other expenses like that. $2.92 to ship. That is an awesome deal right there. So we're going to purchase the label and it's going to print out the label. I'm just covering up the information. So after you print out the label, you just peel it off and you stick it on the package. This label printer right here costs $175. I think it costs about $60 for a 20 pack of the rolls. A 20 pack will last you for probably a whole entire year. It's not really too expensive and you could just write that off later on your taxes. So it's really no biggie. All right, guys. So that's pretty much the whole entire process from start to finish on how to sell stuff on eBay. If I miss anything or if you guys need help with anything, please leave a comment down below and I will answer it as soon as possible. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not here to influence you guys to buy like my book because I don't even have an Amazon book because I think those things are so stupid and worthless. Like you guys could watch and learn anywhere. You guys could go on Facebook. You guys could go on YouTube. I already explained that earlier in the video. Like I said earlier, I'm not trying to sell you guys a ebook or any type of bullshit like that. But if you guys want to follow the eBay store, I'd gladly appreciate it. It's back it up vintage. And if you guys want to follow the Instagram page, it's back it up vintage. I'll try my best to upload new t-shirts on that eBay store daily so you guys could cop some really dope thrifted vintage heat and other items that I find at the thrift store. Thank you guys once again for all the love and support you guys give me in the comments. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, become a subscriber, and have a nice day. Peace out guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.